Now, the man who nobody wants to speak after. <laughs> so it's my pleasure to be able to turn the program over to him. Uh, and then I get a break. I don't have to come up right after Tim. <laughs> He's going to introduce somebody else, and I get to come up after him. But uh, obviously, none of this would be happening uh, were it not for Tim Stevens, who has been on the case, obviously not for the last five years, five or six years, but for a generation, really working so hard to try to make a difference for our region and nudge us, not ever so gently, pretty forcefully at times, uh, into a future that really can provide opportunity for all of us, all, all Pittsburghers in, in southwestern Pennsylvania. Please welcome Tim Stevens. I've been told by one of our young members, Will Anderson, to remind you, hashtag CEIR2017, hashtag CEIR2017. Thank you all for being here. Give yourselves a hand, because we're here to make a difference today. Are we here to make a difference, Dr. Humphrey? My friend, uh, I'm asking all of you to look in the program for my official remarks. They're written on the inside, so I don't have to repeat them. Okay. One of our CEIR members, who happens to not be African Americans, American, and happens to be Jewish for that matter, reminded me recently that <clears throat> Today is a certain day. Anybody know what it is? Juneteenth. Barry Nathan from the Jewish Federation. Give him a hand. If you don't know what it is, it's the oldest known celebration commemorating the end of slavery in this nation. Dating back to 1865, it was on June 19th that the Union soldiers, led by Major General Gordon Granger, landed at Galveston, Texas, with news that the war had ended, that the enslaved were now free. Note that this was two and a half years after President Lincoln's Emancipation, <clears throat> Emancipation Proclamation, which had become official January 3rd, 1863. The Emancipation Proclamation had little impact on the Texans due to the minimal number of Union troops to enforce the new executive order. However, under the surrender of General Lee in April of 1865, the arrival of General Granger's regiment, the forces were finally strong enough to influence and overcome the resistance. I just realized it's only been 152 years. 20 years of my life, black people could not vote in every part of this country. I was born 80 years ago. I might be in slavery, right on the edge of the end. I discovered the other day my sister's items as she was leaving her home, a picture. It's my great-grandfather. I've never shown this picture to anybody outside my family. Doris Carson Williams, he was born a slave, or he was enslaved died free. When I encounter white people who can say they've had three or four generations of attorneys, three or four generations of professionals, most people of color cannot relate to that. I was the first to graduate from college in my family. Many people of color were the first to graduate, or maybe the second. We go back generations, literally, to slavery. So as we celebrate this conversation, 
for diversity, equity, and inclusion. Let's be serious about what we're confronting. We're confronting history that's not that old. The other day, PPG, McGarry, joined CEOs to advance diversity, equity, and inclusion. It's in the back of your folder. PPG announced that Chairman and CEO Michael McGarry, McGarry joined a group of more than 150 CEOs from some of the world's leading companies in signing the CEO Action for Diversity and Inclusion. Were we not excited the other day when our hockey team brought home the trophy? We've been excited by the Steelers. We've been excited by the Pirates. Come on. We have been blessed. And Rob Mache, what I want to have happen is my friend Deb Sadowski, who's contributed so many hours to this, said to me the other day, you see, you saw my picture of my granddad. Put him back up, please. My son is about to be 16, because I waited till I was head dead and almost retired to have a child. <laughs> but the question is fascinating when we were talking. What will Pittsburgh look like to my son's grandchildren? Huh? Greg Spencer, what will this region look like? What we want to have happen, we want to raise those trophies for the Steelers, for the Pirates, for our penguins. Raise them. But we want to raise a new trophy, Esther Bush, that the Pittsburgh region is number one in diversity, number one in equity, and number one in inclusion. 